Apparently, I heard you can turn invisible by turning on teleport dash and attack speed multiplier to zero. <laughs> dash? I don't think these guys can see me. Just test it? Help. Yeah. Experiment true. I gathered 100 of the craziest, strongest Battlegrounds experiments. Like how you can give yourself a giant aura with wild sidekick. Now we have to make ourselves small by typing slash size my name is 0.01. Okay, boom, I'm small. Then if I awaken, I'm now on the map tiny. And if I make myself big, size name 100. Look at that. Yeah, this thing is huge. And it also works for brutal demon and even hero hunter. Boom. That's true. Now for experiment three, I'm going to go up here because I heard if you spawn 100 outsiders, the game will crash. Let's throw in another 50, 98, 99, 100. And it seems the server's still alive. So this experiment's false. For experiment four, let's see if we spawn enough outsiders. It could actually crash the game in general. Now I got myself an auto clicker right here. I'm going to turn this on for about 10 minutes and let's see what happens. Okay. So what you guys is watching here is, is not slowed down. I think the game's break. break Breaking. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my! Wait, what? Okay, well, that one worked. For experiment five, I heard you can literally become an egg. Apparently, if someone has the strongest egg or egg yolk head on, if you turn them to size 0.5, what about size 0.1? And that's true! So the head doesn't shrink. We can have a fighting egg yolk and a fighting egg. For experiment six, we need the strongest hero. I heard if we're in awakening, spot a trash can, and then we use omnidirectional kick on the can, we fly up. Yes, oh, I top the back. It worked. I heard you could also fly if you use deadly ninja. Turn on no stun and no cooldown, and then you have to hit the four move. Oh, 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 oh I don't gotta do that. Oh my gosh, I fly. And this one is true. Experiment eight says that multiple people use serious punch at the same time we all go flying three two one go are we using it are we using it i can't tell oh we all did oh wait wait hold on oh we all survived except one person oh wow for experiment nine i heard if you use sorcerer and use the attract move that spawns a blue ball you can actually control the direction the ball goes just by looking around oh, 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 oh i got everybody i got my boys i got him an egg Oh, the egg lives. It's truly the strongest. Not, not mind. Experiment 10 is called the dunk. They say if you use lethal whirlwind with hero hunter. Now I just got to land the dunk. I got some air time. Don't go! Yeah, I did it! Well, we're Hero Hunter. They say it's impossible to use his third move, Hunter's Grasp, in the sky. Let's turn on zero gravity. Now jump. Bro, did I just stop the air? Oh, it's useless. No, it don't work. Experiment 12 is if you use the strongest hero, you can death counter a meteor. Oh my, it worked! Oh no! That's not easy! Ah! We on the experiment 13 because it's getting kind of crazy. I invited my friend Slaw. I heard why you're using strongest hero's death counter if somebody punches you then leaves the game i should be able to walk around oh that's true experiment 14 is that you can't combo a giant while small size sloth oh that's a big sloth no, i heard i can't combo what if i get him up, yo, get him up, i'm get getting up, my like awakening though i think i'm hitting you but i can't like did i, did I down slap oh yeah i down slap you. okay you know i think you can next i heard that all the strongest heroes moves can go through sorcerer's infinity i'll be the judge of that infinity i'm using infinity Infinity. You should be okay. slowing down. Try to move. And, oh, you're moving in slow motion. Th does it not work? Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. He's throwing the punch now. Um, I believe it's coming out. Um, okay, he just touched me. Okay, I don't think the moves work. Experiment failed. Next. Next is that when using the destructive cyborg, if you awaken and put the attack speed multiplier to 0.5, if I use my special incinerate, I should just die. Oh, oh, slop. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Um... Next is that if two friends jump on each other's heads, they can fly. It's time to work together. Okay, ready? Ready? Jump, jump. Wait, wait. Let me, let me on your head. Let me on your head. Hold on. I'm getting up there. This is not working. Next, I heard a brutal demon. If you put on no cooldown and no stun, you can fly. Now, I think we got to use the move Grand Slam. There we go. I'm getting some air time, but it's like I come down so fast. I'm going to go up top. I'm going to make it. I don't know if you can fly, but I think you get like a, like a double jump, bro. So close. Experiment 19 is that apparently you can stop a giant meteor with sword. Sorcerer's Infinity. All right. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Please tell me I survived this. Oh, it's going slow. Oh, I didn't stop it, but I survived. That worked. For experiment 20, I heard it's impossible to spawn 100 trash cans. Want to bet? Trash can and spawn. And that's one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, 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 ninety, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. Yeah. Okay. So, so you can spawn them. Well, that wasn't true. But what could be true is that Wild Psychic's Meteor. Okay. Got an A 
aim it right about there. Boom. Okay, now we can watch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Slav, what you doing? It. <laughs> How do you live? It worked. Oh my God, I didn't think that worked. Next, trash cans are cool enough. But what if we spot 100 weakest dummies? Can we do it in the sky? We turn gravity to zero. We'll jump and start spotting. Here we go. Off to 100. 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. Dummies. So wait a second. If we're all up here, what happens if I take the gravity multiplier and turn it to max? Oh, oh, hold on. Now we got 100 dummies and 100 trash cans. Now we got to try something. For experiment 23, I heard Sorcerer Blue Ball can actually eat all these dummies. Let's see what happens. Can I get them all? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Did I spot a kill block? Wow, yeah, it worked. Speaking of dummies, I heard you can make it rain with them. First, I'm gonna jump up and spawn dummies along the way. Sloth is all the way down there. How does it look, Sloth? You're looking good. Now, since I'm gonna be all the way up here, he's gonna be able to see what it looks like if we make him rain. But let's get another hundred out. It's fit a rain in three, two, one. Here we go. I'll catch you. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh. oh my, what, what it look like? Uh, a lot of falling men. Uh, hey, what? Can Psychic Stone Coffin stop Cyborg Flame Wave Cannon? As a matter of fact, it can. Experiment 27. Can Strongest Hero punch someone off the map? That's all. You just gotta hold still. I just gotta hit uppercut. Ooh. Yeah, rip guy. Oh, I, yeah, I guess I, I guess I'm going with him though. Next, the sorcerer is supposed to be able to throw a blue ball party. So you can't have a party without friends. Apparently, I'm supposed to be able to start throwing a party with everybody. All right, I've been doing this for about five minutes. That looks like a party to me. And I think my game's breaking. Oh, oh, the sound stopped. I'm on 50 frames. Yeah, I can't either. I think I broke the sound and, and everybody's body. That one's true for 29. I want to know if Brutal Demon can death blow a meteor. Activate awakening. Death blow. Yo, he stopped my death blow. Wait, I did my move anyways. Wait a second. Oh my. Oh, that does not work. You can get death countered by three people at once. Well, let's make it eight. Everyone. Death counter on go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 wait. That, yo, I got death countered by everybody. Hey. Yo, what the? My screen. My screen glitching. My screen. The, the game, bro. 31 says Brutal Demon can home run someone out the map. Now we're going to need zero gravity. Boom. And we got a test subject. Hold on. Boom. T-Rock is blasting Ooh. off again. <laughs> Experiment 32 is that if you like it, subscribe. Y'all be the best, strongest Battlegrounds player. Try it. I want to be the best. Next is that all strongest heroes ultimate moves can be death countered. I don't know if that's true, but there's only one way to find out. All right, use omnidirectional. Now, see? Oh, oh, you can't death counter them? Oh, my, oh, you get your revenge, eh? This he'll get back? That one's false. Number 34 is that Wild Socket could do an infinite loop. We just need no cooldown and no stun. Now, apparently, if I use Crushing Pull, like, look at this egg guy right here. I should be able to keep pulling him, and there should be nothing he can do about it. Yeah. All right, that was true. Next, we must see if Sorcerer's Infinity is able to stop 10 trash cans. Oh, Infinity stops it. Wow, that's so nice. Next, I heard there's a secret command that allows you to see from the weakest dummy's perspective. Now, everybody's up here with the weakest dummy. Can we see him? Slash E, script table, 5155. Enter. Oh my, no. I can see. Yo, Slot. I'm looking at you, bro. That works? I'm stepping. Get off me. Since everyone's already up here, we may as well see if Sorcerer could repulse them from the other side of the map. Here we go. Y'all see him? It's got to be there. What well, repulse can't work, but what about a race? There we go. We got the sorcerer ball, the giant purple. Did it work? Oh, did that work? See, senor. Experiment 38 is that stone coffin can apparently stop omnidirectional punch. Ah, right, slot hit me. There we go. Oh, I think I was kind of too far anyway. That's something. Apparently, there's ping pong in the strongest battlegrounds. You just need two hero hunters and a deadly ninja. If I line up behind him and the two hero hunters spam the four move, we should be able to play ping pong. It does work. Number 40 says strongest hero can fly with uppercut. We need no stun, no cooldown. Let's give it a test. I just stay on the ground. Wait, wait. So it's almost like I can get a double jump. Maybe with perfect timing, you could do it. But this one's definitely hard. That's definitely a more difficult one. Good 
be true. For experiment 41, if two people M1 one player at the same time, you could trap them forever. Like this. Ch try to run, Sloth. Go ahead. But you're not running, bro. Just run, bro. The next experiment requires Brutal Demon, because apparently you can get death blown by multiple people. On go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 nah. Oh, nah. There's no way. This one. Yo, I, oh, I be, I be, I be chanted on by multiple people. Yo, oh, I can't even see. I can't even see. Yeah, yeah, multiple people can death blow you. Apparently, the almighty trash can can break trees. I just got up. Whoop, never mind. Experiment 44 is to see if Hero Hunter's Perry Sparrow can work in the air. To test it, we must set gravity to zero. Sloth, we jump in in three, two, one, jump. That, that was a delayed, delayed one. Now we gotta wait till we get to the top. Let's test it. We gotta hit each other. What the? Wait, what? We may have learned something. Okay, yep, it doesn't work. Experiment 45. Yeah, wild sidekick could scale all the way up the wall. So like strongest hero did earlier, if we use this move, apparently dash and then hit our four. Oh, I got pretty high. But like this rock is supposed to send us higher if we do it properly. If y'all can do it, let me know. Well, I can't get up that way. But apparently you get trash can staircase to heaven to the top. We just have to go to settings and in map. We spawn object trash can. Find a little corner. I should be able to spawn the trash can. Hold on. I'm taking the staircase up. Yo, this is actually not easy. Oh, wait, wait. If you jump, it's easier. Oh, I'm making it. Oh, let's go. Trash can staircase y'all know donkey kong right apparently like donkey kong you can snipe people with trash cans from on top of the map sniper someone should make this a map if hero hunter attacks a 50 times size player we should be able to break the game almost so if we use lethal whirlwind oh yeah yeah just like that oh no i just slammed him this is just a normal combo i'm kind of cooking him well the game's not breaking but it is quite interesting now we did a dunk from earlier but there should be a super dunk in the game if we awaken his hero hunter then use the two move and the four move boom we should be able to hit and lotus a player and slam them down. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That one works. We made our way to a public server for experiment 50. If you death counter someone and they leave, do you get the kill? I got my boy Sloth here. As you see, I'm at two kills total. Ready? Three, two, one, boom. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, he left. I'm able to run around. Can I punch this guy? That'd be nice. Oh, two is turned to three, and that is a kill. Next, can Sorcerer Infinity beat Serious Punch? Activate Infinity. Now, let's try this from a distance. He shouldn't be affected by me, but do I die? All right, he's moving at normal speed, but do I? No, I stay right here. Now we gotta find out if you can praise Peril a death counter. All right, use death counter. Okay, punch. There we go. And oh yeah, you can death counter a counter. Well, that's that's good to know. That's so fun, right? Oh my boy! Now I wanna know if you can wall combo off a garbage can. One, two, three, four, Q. Oh, you can. Oh, you can. Off a garbage can is crazy. For experiment 54, it said with Brutal Demon, you can crush benches with home run. And I got a bunch of benches here. No. Oh, you can. Oh, who needs to sit? You'll stand it. Not me. <laughs> the next experiment to see if Serious Punch could kill you if you're not close. Um, yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, my. Oh, oh, I survived, but that took like 70% of my health. For 56, apparently you can emote at 10x speed. So you're seeing the emotes right here. What? What if we speed it up? What happens? Yeah, here we go. There we go. Something like that. That's what I was expecting. Look at the biggest Bruh. ball. Next is that brutal demon to fly at 10x speed. If you use foul ball, look at that, I fly. So I'm not shooting anything anymore. Can I foul ball off a wall? The side of the wall. Really? Oh my gosh, you can. Another cool one is that the strongest hero should be able to serious punch and omnidirectional punch at the same time. Take off attack speed. We just need it normal, but we need no stun and no cooldown. I don't know if this is true. The strongest hero awakening disappears after one move. Like if I use serious punch, then omnidirection. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, that just broke the game. Okay, nice. For experiment 59, apparently men won't hit girls in the strongest battlegrounds. Now, I actually believe this one's true. I just gotta stand right here and um, no, oh, no one's fighting me. No, this is like a cheat code. Really? You rather fight the weakest dummy? This may be true. Let me try out one more time. Let me go near this guy. He ran away. Uh, okay, I guess girls hit girls though. Well, the more you know. For experiment 60, can the almighty trash can go through wild psychic windstorm? Oh, I got hit, but it went through. But does it go 
through stone coffin? That is the strongest rock ever, I will say. Easy. I bet. I'm gonna come back to you in a second, Yui. Because apparently, if you go shift P and fly under the map, you should be able to locate a pair of destructive cyborgs' arms. Y'all see that? Right there. We getting closer? Right there. Yep. The arms of destructive cyborg in the middle of nowhere. Now, when it comes to this game, people like to hide. And apparently, trees are a good spot. But can you get in them? Let's use wild sidekick to fly up top. I should be able to land on the tree. I landed on it. I'm in, actually. And it just pushed me out. So you can go in, but not for very long. Speaking of wild sidekick, what happens if you stole wall? someone at 10x speed increase the attack speed will take away stun and cooldown let's see what happens oh my gosh so you can just trap them in it oh they, they come out eventually it looks like i created a wall of our next experiment can you make a donut in the strongest battlegrounds and y'all see it right there donut i look at my donut bro that looks appetizing that kind of looks like poop now earlier we saw that you can combo giants but can you combo as a giant yourself well i made rip guy big okay oh bro's egg disappeared what? that's crazy let's see if if he can combo me and no it doesn't look like he can actually hit me bro is just standing there rip guy says i can't and we move it on because apparently in the strongest battlegrounds there's an invisible ceiling that you can't pass let's put on zero gravity because only i could be the judge of that now it looks like genos is fastest at going high and he's blasting up but how far can we go based on how high i am and how high the boys are it looks like there isn't actually a ceiling this probably goes forever and just to prove it i went above the cloud i'm actually very close to the sun that, that, that's not Bruh. a good sign next well since there's no ceiling for our next experiment, can you throw somebody over a wall with wild sidekick? Now, you could use crushing pull like this, and then you just gotta aim up. Now, that's how far they go with normal gravity. But if we just take it away, it's like I gotta send them straight horizontal. There we go. Go over the wall. How do they just start floating up? Well, maybe you can, actually. The next experiment is that you can do a wall combo that looks like this. Wow, giant. Now, we're 50 times our size. This may be a little big, actually. Now, I can't really see the dummy from here. Oh, yeah, I can't hit him. Okay, what if I make someone else bit? All right, we got a giant Bakugo here. Now, does it work? One, two, three. Oh, my gosh, bro. I don't think you can. Yeah, no wall combos with the giant, bro. For experiment 68, there's another glitch with size. If I go to 0 0.01, all right, I'm tiny, and I put my speed to 10x, I'm supposed to just die. But, you know, I'm not dying. Because I'm so small, nothing could actually hit me. I just keep randomly going invisible. Where'd I go? Did I get smaller? Now, since we still on wild sidekick, did you know she could fight in the air like a Dragon Ball character? So if my friend Sloth jumps, now, even though he's in the air, I'm able to fly up to him, and I should be able to do this. Crushing pole? Yep. And then throw him that way. <laughs> hey, yo. Where'd you go? Oh, you went down. For experiment 70. Drunkest Battlegrounds, I hope you're listening. Apparently, even if I put on no attack. Y'all see it? No attack. People have figured out a way to still attack you. See that dash? How? I have no attack on. It's right here. No attack. They say if you emo and then dash right after, there's a glitch you could do that lets you attack. Now, let's get a combo going. While still using Wild Sidekick, you can actually combo extend with a lot of her moves. Like this tornado here. You can punch. Even pull them and while they're on the ground you can still stone coffin and they come right to you You can even do multiple people as you saw well that works, but you know what may not can stone coffin stop blade masters awakening do it Oh, 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 oh that did not that did did I mess up? Did I? Oh, yes, it can. If we were to experiment with all of the powers, which one is faster? Everyone, we racing to the other end on go. Lot's gonna do the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, everybody going, everybody going, everybody going. Yo, oh, am I losing? Oh I, oh, I just have to jump. Oh, nah, that was easy. Second place goes to the side. Oh, oh, he threw it backwards. Uh, Sonic, Sonic, are you serious? Did you, you did the counting. Nah. Well, the more you know. Now, for experiment 74, this is what normal table flip looks like. See? Covers a decent range. Some people can walk out, but it's pretty big. Now, what does giant table flip look like? They say that it should be bigger. And let's see if we hit them. Okay, here's the flip. Oh, and it's so big, it actually doesn't hit nothing. Oh, that's so sad, bro. Yo, the giants are down bad. Next, we got omnidirectional punch at 10x speed. May break the game. Let's put our meter to 10x. My guess is that it's the same speed. Oh, oh, that was, that was not the, did everybody just come down? It went so fast. They can, oh, I only got one guy. Oh, okay. Well, there he goes. Since we're here, let's even test serious punch. 
Oh, okay. It just very, very fast. The next one will mess with your head. Because apparently, even though it's always daytime in the strongest battlegrounds, they say you can always see the moon. Now, oh, wait, it's right there. So that just stays there forever? The sun and the moon? Where's the nighttime? God, hold on. 77 wants to know. If you get death counter, a death counter. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, all right. Oh, now no. I'm gonna hit you. And then we're, we're gonna... No, I think you're dead, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Because <laughs> I didn't want to go first. Easy. Next experiment says that if you remove walls, you can throw people off the map. But if you go to our settings, wall, right here. Remove walls. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, it's a thing. Give me move, please. There you go. There's move. a move for you. Everybody else? The mouse is shaking. No. <laughs> but, but he's falling. Yes. Yeah, wow. That is that is pretty toxic, actually. For 79, I want to find out if you can outheal all moves. Now, if you look, there's a heal multiplier right here that lets you heal faster. But there's also a heal button. So we're going to spam that and see if I can survive. Wow. All right, there comes everybody's awakening. Looks beautiful. Okay, I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm healing though. Okay, everyone's attacking. Everyone's attacking. And look, my health's going full. Okay, that's fine. I mean, sliced up. I'm full again. All right, okay, come on. Try to kill me, y'all. This one should definitely hurt. I'm getting atomic sliced. Oh, oh, it happened so fast. What the? Maybe you can. Well, I can. 20 experiments left. And this one requires the weakest dummy. Now, there's a button that says break. Click it. Apparently, he gives you a kiss. Or, or I guess a lot of them. Yeah, what the heck? Bro, nah. Stop. stop. I don't, oh my gosh. For experiment 80, I want to know if you can hit giants. Look around me. You see him? That, that's a lot of giants right there. Here come the meteor. Aim right here. Throw it down. Look up. And teaching sloth down. So you can hit him. For 82, apparently, no one that plays this game touches grass. Oh, I spawned in on grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care if I don't go outside. I touched it in the game. Ha, got him. Experiment 83 says you can turn the strongest battlegrounds into Fortnite. If you hit this button that says storm right here and you actually speed it up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Those walls are covered in. Can you escape the storm and look up? It looks like there's a way, but it's going to take no cooldowns, no stun. Now I shall leave everybody here in the middle. Um, Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Have fun. Bye, everyone. And there they go. I'm definitely out the storm. Let's see. Oh, no. Nah, I'm taking damage. It don't matter how high you are. I'm taking damage. You just have to be in the middle. Everyone. Y'all dead. You can't survive the storm. Experiment 84. It said that if you parry peril death counter, you'll actually disappear, even though you still get hit. And it hit me, sloth. I should. Did I disappear? I think I did, but I don't think it mattered. Did, did my legs, my head went through my... A quick two tests. While you have no stun on, they say you can move a serious punch. Can you see this? I'm moving. I'm moving, but who am I gonna punch? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I hit them over the... Oh, wow. Damn. 86. Like Wild Sidekick did earlier. Apparently, Cyborg can also dodge Brutal Demon Awakening. So as Sloth away, if you time your jet dive right, I should be able to. Oh my! Wait a second. Oh, I took no damage. Let's go. Next, we gotta find out if strongest hero can reflect foul ball. Well, I got all my boys with bats here. Let's test it. Oh, it worked. I hit one. Okay, can I hit them all? I'm spamming. I'm spamming. I'm spamming. Yes, sir! Experiment 88. Can you finish your someone at full health? Now, as you see, my boy Sloth is full. But if I do a normal punch, or maybe even an uppercut, Ow. let's try this. He died immediately, but there is no finisher. Okay, let's try one more. Normal punch. Ah. And you can finish your someone at full health. You just need to take away the health multiplier. But this means we must test. The next experiment, you may not know, but someone told me trash cans have a finisher. I got a trash can right here. Hood. Oh. I guess, I guess that was Cardinal Finisher. Okay, no, that's not. <laughs> Experiment 90. Can Wild Sidekick Stone Coffin survive a bunch of cyborg blasts? Three, two, one, go! All right, the beams have started, and I'm actually blocking them. I'm not even dying. My rock is burning, though. It's incinerating. Oh, yeah. Oh, I even got a kill. That reminds me. Depending on where you are, the middle of Stone Coffin will take the property of what it got made out of. So if it's stone, it's gray in the middle. It should be a lighter gray. Y'all see that? Dark gray? Light gray. But what if we do it on grass? And it even turns green. That's pretty cool. But not as cool. We got all the boys lined up. In three, two, one, go. Okay, if they incinerate, y'all see it? I should be able to block the incinerate. I think I'm about to turn into a crisp. I'm a chicken nugget. No. 92 says with private server commands, you can actually destroy a server. Now, you saw us remove the walls earlier. But you can also remove the trees, remove the leaderboard, remove spawn. I guess I could also spawn a bunch of kill blocks. Oh, this server looks pretty messed up. 
but it's this kill block circle I made. That if I hit the brig button, yeah. Um, I, I think I think everybody's dead. Uh, good luck, everyone. And, oh, they survived. For experiment 93, let's test if sorcerer can kill god mode. Now, if you look here, there says a command that says god mode. Slash god mode. Now that everyone's in god mode, if I use infinity, so I'll see if you can move. Hey, you look like you're walking around pretty normal. What if I um repulse? Oops. Oh, God mode does not apply to sorcerer. Really? Oh, but they can survive wow. that. Well, could they survive this? Wow. God mode for what? For experiment 94. I want to know if you get death counter, death blow. Oh, 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 oh. How are you hitting me during a death counter? There, there is no way. Oh, where you go? Where are you? What? The? Oh my gosh. Oh, that is not fair. It is said that you can cancel Cyborg Incinerate with Hero Hunter Hunt. There we go. They're about to use it. Incinerate. The final hunt. Boy. And did I stop it? I stopped it. Look, they're bugged. Look at their arms. Nah. Yeah, that's kind of fire though. First time in 96. These three players are going to Flame Wave Cannon me. And I got to survive with no moves. So let's start by spotting one dummy. How many dummies will it take to protect me? I don't know. Just know I am not dying. All right, this looks like it should do the trick. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's see if I get hit. Oh, oh they burned through. They burned through my dummies. Oh, I didn't take a lot of damage. The dummies are reducing the damage. But you know what else could probably stop this madness? What if I attempt the same thing with dummies and trash cans? Let's make the wall. Looks amazing. All right. Stand right here. Activate awakening. All right, there they go. Yeah, I think these trash cans may stop at this time. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 my game breaking. My game breaking. Oh, oh, I survived. You know what? I still think that worked. Now there's only three experiments left. For this next one, we're going to have to remove the walls again. Because apparently, it said that you can save yourself from falling. Now, I don't know if this is true, but my boy Cream is about to find out. Let's give him a little punch. Ooh. That he should be dead. Oh, he's not dead. Wait a second. There's no way. Oh, nah. Now we're gonna need more trash cans for experiment 99. We gotta find out. If I hide in the middle of a bunch of trash cans, can I survive? Now we can see everything from up here. Let's try it. The boys are about to try to jet dive me, but I should be protected. Let's see. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 the game. Oh, my, oh, the game, the game. That, that did not protect me. And the game is breaking. The game. A bunch of black trash cans around here. On to experiment 100. This one about to be crazy. I've always wondered what could survive Wild Sidekicks Meteor. Maybe one steel wall. Maybe two. Maybe if I put down enough, we can truly find out if this base here will be enough to survive a meteor. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Bring it on. Bring it on. Wait, I don't even see it. Oh, yes, yes. I win. Meteor who? Not me. Easy. 